Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is Nancy Jean in the Garden. And we read on five energies every week. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. This is for the week of March 18th through the 24th, which includes on the 20th, the new moon, as well as the equinox, the spring equinox. So happy 12 hour day, 12 hour night. No, no, no. Are you sure? Yeah. It's spring solstice. No, equinox is when they're equal. Solstice is. Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, I should know that. I took four years. Well, no, of I usually get confused too, but this time I didn't. Okay. I took four years of Latin. You think equinox would be one of the easier ones? Yeah, equivalent. <laughs> <laughs> and Knox for night. Interesting. Body. Mm -hmm. Well, this is nice for the equinox, right? It's nice to have a pentacle for the equinox. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, um, I have the knowledge. I know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I have the experience and uh, I'm going to do new things because, you know, I'm the king and I know how to plant seeds that'll grow because I have the experience. Mm -hmm. Body. Mind is like really hopeful and optimistic and, you know, full of abundance. And also, I always feel like with the sun, there's like spiritual nourishment. I always feel like this is like the great, it's like the father God energy of the sun coming down and nourishing mm -hmm. and giving formation and joy and abundance and clarity. Body, mind, spirit is like, yeah, and I know um, what works and what doesn't work. I'm using, so I'm using my body, right? And I'm also using my mind. Right. And I always see him as a surgeon. I always see this guy as a surgeon. It's like really clear, direct thinking, really clear, direct thought. This works, this doesn't work. And there's no, um, oh, well, it used to work. I'm going to try to make it work. None of that. It's like, uh -huh. especially with the sun. Uh -huh. Okay. Body, mind, spirit. And then grounding is like, I'm letting go of the stuff that doesn't work anymore. Uh -huh. I can't revive it. I'm not even interested. The past is done. We're starting the spring. Everything is new. And what's what's done is done, and a new dawn is rising. It's perfect for the spring. Body, mind, spirit, grounding. And then clarity is like really creative, really optimistic, letting go of what doesn't serve you anymore and expecting good things in return. You know, I've let go of the things that don't work anymore, and I'm expecting good things in return. Very optimistic. This is a really optimistic card. Really? It's a really nice reading. Really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Well, we're going to start as we always do in the chakras when we're out there. And the mind is in uh, the third eye. And that's really lovely because when it's in the third eye, it says uh, third eye intuition is all completely engaged and it mm -hmm. gives you great insights. Mm -hmm. And then we go to, and you need them because your pyrite's in water. And when pyrite's completely in water, mm -hmm. It said grounding changes are setting into long-term patterns. Mm -hmm. so gone, we've been watching this shift happen over the last few weeks. Your body's still processing some stuff, but now it's in earth and new things are coming forward in great abundance. Your spirit, your spiritual trans, transmutation's happening and it's almost done. It's almost drifted over to water where it can wash out and be part of these long-term changes. And your clarity is in air and it says making sure once again this is a cautionary crystal today make sure your thoughts are clear before you act on them but otherwise you've got all the tools to have the right way to look at things and to be able to act on them i mean mm -hmm. when you get long term that means things that you you've been planning for and stuff those those plans are actually going to become part of your reality mm -hmm. okay. really nice Happy spring, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Blessings.